What's up, everyone? Another Void back with more Game Dev Tycoon for you, Episode 6. And we're about to... What, are we really releasing another game? No, because E3 is going to be up fairly soon. We've got a new dude. We've got a lot of time. I wonder if we could release another game and then do another one for E3. I don't know. If we really tried, we could. So we've got... The, uh, Chris Manley is doing some research. Uh, we got it, we're searching for another guy you can see right in the background right there. I talked about publishing deals last time. Uh, they're very, very important. We're going to probably do another one for uh, the E3 for this next game, and then maybe we'll do a, a sequel for E3 or something like that, because, well, I should just keep doing publishing deals until I get 100,000 fans, and we can go back to sequels. So what I'm going to do, and also we just unlocked research for uh, the uh, basically the E3 research stuff. I think what's that? What's nice about that is always use the highest level of research because what it does is allows you to get someone up to speed really fast. So you're going to see, we're going to get, we, I'm not picking a level one dude. No, I'm not doing it. So let's pick a fairly balanced dude here. Wow. This guy's way better. I won't have to train him as much. Let's get this guy. He's bad, but he won't be as bad. So we'll hire him, I guess. We've already spent 600k, right? Let's get them all trained up. I don't think we have any... Well, we have new graphics. Do we have anything else? In Easter eggs. We can't make another engine. What are we thinking? Now we're just going to sit here for a while. Maybe we will have to wait to do something for E3. Oh, wait. Can this dude do boost now? No, he's got to be level 5. You have to be level 5 to do boost. We can do more research, though. Let's do some research, and we're just chilling anyway. We'll do one more new topic, and then we'll do, let's see, branching story or dialogue tree. I think branching story could be good. So we'll do branching story, and then we'll also do a new topic. Oh, I only have five research points. We could do a contract, a really tiny one. Let's see. Oh, they only have giant ones. Five weeks. We could probably do that one. All right, let's do this contract real quick. We only got two guys working on it. We'll have three guys in a second, though, so we should be fine. Hurry up and finish your training. We're going to miss this. Hurry up, man. <laughs> we're in December, though, so we're good. There we go. Does this guy need... Nobody needs... Nobody needs vacations, right? We want to make sure nobody needs vacation. Um, what can we do now? I don't know. Another contract? We could probably do that, right? Nine-week contract? What's that? 70 bubbles? And this one's... Yeah, it's about the same. Let's do this. We need everybody to get up to speed before we start a game. There we go. The, our core team's up to speed now. Now there's boost is coming online. This should align us really well with E3 now. And we're getting a little bit more research for this. So also, let's go with, uh, do a new topic. Aliens would be good, I think. Let's look. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Let's look at aliens here. Aliens has two. And strategy's alright. Mainly the like, action RPG and strategy's okay. So why don't we get aliens? That, that this gives us another avenue for something new here. Our Arthur B dudes just about ready. I think for E3 we're going to be ready to rock with these dudes. And then we're going to save so uh, wow, 2.6 million in sales. That's good. And look at our fans. Half of half of, of our goal almost. Um but Nether's boost will be ready for training when we're done here. Arthur B ready to rock. I'm surprised I don't have any women. Last playthrough I had like all women pretty much. Xbox is released. Okay, so let's look at um, the contracts now, publishing deals, Dreamcast, it doesn't stay on the market very long. Ooh, PlayStation 2! Vocabulary, I don't have that. Pirate? Could get that. PC always has a decent market share. Pirate. Seven? I could probably get a seven. That's cutting it close, but... Hmm. Let's see. Any topic action on the Xbox. Brand new. Any topic action. We just got aliens, right? Aliens action, right there. 
What is Xbox usually like? What kind of audience is Xbox? Let's see. Mbox, right? That's what this is, right? Mbox. It's probably going to cost a fortune in license fees. Oh, good. They like everyone, so we'll do everyone. So we'll do an alien action mo game. Wow. Yeah, we need to start using these licenses, you know? Okay, alien action, huh? We're going to call this one Bug Hunt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Bug Hunt? Yeah, Bug Hunt sounds good. For everyone, it's going to be Aliens. That'll get us a big research bo boost again on the Monolith Engine 2, which is kind of getting a little old now, but that's okay. Um, let's start this sucker. Month 3, this is perfect. Really need a new graphics engine, so this could help a lot, actually. Okay, so now we've got an extra guy to kind of take up the slack. Now, we did action before, and it looks just like this, I think. Let's just double check, yeah. Yep, that's what we want. We could put this dude on that, though, on Stories and Quests. No, his design's horrible. We'll put him on something else. Quite a few undiscovered bugs. Um, you lose some fans. I think it's a percent. So I think we're going to make this guy... Let's have this guy develop the patch here while we're developing this game. They always do it when you start to develop a game. I don't know why they do it, but he wasn't doing anything anyway, really. So not going to help us too much. There we go. So, okay. That's interesting. I thought we were done. Okay, so. Yep. Uh, yes, that's exactly the way it should look. And why don't we put... Chris Maley's almost maxed, huh? What, what happens if we do that? And then we do this. That saves Chris Maley for something else. Wesley Black can go on the next tech. Hmm... Yeah, let's do it like that. Hopefully nobody goes under over 100%. It's a lot easier with four guys when you, to not put someone over 100%. We're not hitting the boost. Just stay away from the boost button. Um, We're going to go with a small booth again. We don't have 500k to be blowing on stuff. Once we can develop our own games, like publish our own games, we'll be good. One fan said, I love companies like Void Studios. They don't just milk their customers for money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we enjoy our games. So we didn't lose any fans. We Remember, we're working on fans. We don't want to lose any. We just did an action game, so this is pretty much perfect. Let's get me on something else. Let's get me... Well... Can we do this? Yeah, that's way better. Except my tech is a little bit higher, but we're going to get a bonus to, to research... Or um, to level ups with this, doing it this way. Alright, we're good. Why don't we bump this a tiny bit? The time allocation can't be over 20%. There, that's good. All right, go! Stop! What are you doing? You're actually developing something now. Oh, you've made some bugs. Good job, buddy. He's really not helping us. You're bad at this game, buddy. Made a bug. He's making bugs really good. This is not a very good game. <laughs> so, E3. Bug Hunt! Alien Advent at Action Game. On the uh, P PlayStation 2? No, Xbox. We're making Xbox games now. We're horrible. Just hurry up, man. We don't have time to wait. 113,000 uh, people came to visit. Nice. We're beast. Wow, that's nice hype. That's a nice hype right there. We got <laughs> vacation already. See what I'm saying? So let's wait. This is a really kind of low-scoring game. It is very even, though, on design and technology. That's kind of interesting. Two people need vacations. And hype's starting to drop. We don't want the hype to drop. So new record. New topic, new combo, great combo, good management. 1.9. People getting half a level off that bad boy. That is awesome. That's going to help us a lot. This dude needs to level like gangbusters. Like, he needs to get up there, man. Chris Maley. Okay, so we got new... St okay, let's send some dudes on vacation. And let's do training for this guy. So we want this guy to train in design. How about re research? Well, his design is really bad. Let's get him some design. That's the pixel cup. And then we'll do nether void. We'll train as well because we're going to use his boost. And we're going to get me up to a 700. So 
Once you get to level 700, you can become a specialist. Now, when we get in the next office, you need a specialist to unlock certain different parts of the office. So I want to get to 700 as soon as I can. So I'll do Pixel Cup as well. I'll burn my boost. Then I should probably go back to research and speed a little bit, maybe. First reviews are in. Bug Hunt. I think all it needs is seven, right? Nine! Nice! It's interesting, because... I, I didn't know I was going to be doing this good with games that I really don't feel like the scores are very good, but I guess I get, I'm getting new bon uh, new records each time, so... So that's an 8. That's good. Nice. Oh, burn the boost. Here we go. Boost! Whoa! Dang! Now I can see why boost is so awesome. I'm just... Oh my gosh! Yeah, that is definitely what you want to do. Let's see. Let's do some more research here. We got a lot more points. We need a new engine relatively soon. Let's get some more... Um, ooh, there's sound. Let's get some more world design. Oh, that's easy. And then we'll get um, probably some engine, maybe. No. Dialogues? We'll get dialogue tree. We'll do a big old fat, big fat RPG after this. So what's Nether doing? Nothing? Well, that's fine. We don't have a lot of research points. We're going to spend most of them on this dude. So let's train him again. Let's do Pixel Cup again. He gained a lot. Almost 50 points. This will put him over the threshold when we start working on... Actually, his speed needs to go up. Time trials? Yeah. Speed, mainly. All right. We're going to have to get Arthur up to speed. These other guys can kind of chill. I'm waiting for Wesley, really, to get... um to get level 5, and he should be hitting it, I think, next game we release. We should probably do another game pretty soon, or we're not going to hit E3. Alright, so after this, we're going to do a new game. We can do a new publishing deal. We're at 70,000 fans. That's awesome. As soon as Arthur is done. Hurry up, bro. He's posting up some fat numbers, and he's done. Okay, let's look at, let's look at the publishing deals. Um, Game Link's kind of going out, but look at that. Any topic, any genre. That's easy. Ooh, UFO RPG. We don't have UFO, and we don't have PS2. We don't have PS2. We don't have N64. We have this. Any topic, any genre. We should just pick a new... We just pick something new. Then we can get the boost. So we did pick up Aliens, didn't we? Oh, it has to be casual. Casual is what this the uh, gameling likes. Racing. What about pirate? There's no pirate casual. What about prison? No. Prison casuals don't work. Uh, sports. No, we don't really have any sports stuff. Is UFO and R RPG good? Uh, no. It's a big, big negative. Do not get UFO and RPG. Pirate strategy? Nope. They hate these two. Any topic action, I can kind of work with that. Almost every genre has that. Sci-fi action. I don't think I've done that one. I have to buy another license, though. I'd rather not do a license. I want to just kind of get myself up there. Okay, we're going to make it whatever game you feel like playing, okay? Whatever game you want. It's going to have to be casual, though. So, if it's going to have to be casual, we're going to have to make it a sports casual. We don't have anything else. Sports casual, racing casual. We could do another racing game. All right, we're going to do another racing game. We can do our own sequel. We don't have to use the sequel system. Uh, so let's do this. Let's look at our games. We're going to do a racing sequel. I know we have one. Speed. We're going to do Speed 2. All right, so let's develop a new game. Publishing deal. We're going to do another publishing deal. We're going to do, it's a medium game, it's for young, it's going to be racing, casual, it's going to be called Speed 2, let's see, Speed 2, uh, how about, uh, Speed 2, hmm, world, no, world race, no, I don't know, um, what's that race where they race around the world? We'll just call this one, not Grand Prix, that's pretty cool though. What's that race around the world in cars? I think they have that, don't they? I think it's a car race around the world, right? 
Race around the world is an awesome... Uh, no, that's not it. Car, race around the world. New York to Paris race. Great auto race of 19... No, that's... No. World's 10 longest auto races. This is a lot of research, guys. Shouldn't have to do so much research. <laughs> okay. Uh, rally. Um, no, that's not it. What? Okay, 2,000. Around the world in 80 days. Okay, that's what's... The, uh, around the world. And Yeah, we can't do in 80 days. That pretty much stretches it out. So, around, around the world. It's going to be about racing around the world in a big, you know... You know, you soup up your car, and you have to work on your car in between cities and stuff. Uh, we're going to do this on the Monolith Engine 2, which is getting kind of old now. We should be able to do a new engine fairly soon. Um, this is not going to get us a lot of research, though. We really need to get good management on this one. So we're going to start development. Now, what we need to do is finish this and release it before we start our E3 game. Okay? So, what did we pick? Racing Casual. I think that one goes like this. Am I right? Yes, I... Nope, I'm exactly opposite again. Okay. Okay, so story and quests, that's good. Gameplay is awesome. And let's get... Let's gameplay is tech, so we're going to put me on that. Put this dude on... on. Uh, we can put Wesley Black on this. Put this dude on that. There we go. Chris Maley is saved. He already needs a vacation. You just got here, bro. <laughs> That's going off the market. Yep. It's, you are. You just got here. Wow. Oh well. He's pretty bad anyway. At least it's not one of my best guys. Let's just send him on a vacation right in the middle. He should be back before we even get done with our next thing. Okay. So we can't put this guy on there now. He's on vacation. So we'll put. I think this is how it works. What's casual again? Did a level design. AI is dead. Level design's way up there, and then dialogue's a little bit. So we're going to put Chris Maley on this, myself on that, and we'll put this dude on that. We'll wait till Arthur gets back. He can kind of do the tail end of this. And he's back already, so he should be helping us out here. This should be a pretty big game. Come back. What are you waiting for? He's back from... What, does he sit the whole thing out? Wow, I did not know that. That's horrible. Okay, so casual, yep, looks about like this. Rich backstory. Well, we don't need that. So, this looks good. Wesley Black on graphics. Yeah, that looks good. Chris Maley's doing that. Okay. Do it. This should be a decent game. It's not going to be huge, but it's going to be good. This guy's not even doing anything. Arthur B., you're going to get fired, bro. Gonna get fired. So we really need to do a game right on the tail end of this. Strategy games. Okay, we'll do a strategy game after this. Might we need to do like one or two more contracts, but we might do we might do a sequel for this one. Play system will be off the market. Yep. So looking good. Oh, we didn't do any marketing on this. Let's do a small little marketing campaign real quick. We got twenty two hype just from our fans, that's awesome. And release. So, oh good, a design record. Good management, that's good, that's what we need. And Chris Wesley Black needs to get way closer to level 5 so we can get him boost. Arthur B's coming up pretty quick, that's good. Let's get Arthur some more training real quick. Let's get him some research training. Maybe some design training. Design is Pixel Cup, I, I believe. Design, yeah, Pixel Cup. We'll get him some training. We're going to get Nether some training. Pixel Cup. We'll use this boost. And Game Boy, or the GameCube. That's what they call the Game Spear in this. And we'll do some research. We can't do any. We're at 38. Let's do a new topic? Ew. Gross. Let's look at... Oh, our, our reviews are in. We only need... What do we need to get? A four? We... Pff, no problem. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Speed 2 Around the World. Good. Mmm. A nine, that's awesome, dude. We're getting good scores. Of course, it, we're kind of, we're kind of cheating. But this game doesn't work if you don't know the combos. You, what happened in my last playthrough is I had to do RPGs all the time because that's the only thing I could figure out. So there we go, solid eight. That's awesome. 
So let's look at the publishing deals now. Any topic, any genre. We just did this one. Didn't we? Pretty sure we just did that one. Strategy. Pirate strategy, though. That's not a good good one. We're going to do a strategy game, but we're not going to do... For, for E3, we're going to do a sequel. So let's look at uh, our game history here. We did... We haven't done any sequels for a while. See, we've been doing some new games because we're trying to do contracts, or I mean publishing deals. So that's when we made our engine. Let's do hacking strategy, Sentinel. We could do Sentinel 2. That could be pretty awesome. So that's what we're going to do, hacking strategy. So as soon as these guys are done, look at that boost, man. I love boost. Yep. So it's over with though now. Look at the fans. Look at the fans come in. We need to hurry up, guys. Play systems out. Yep. 2.7 million off that thing. Nice. Is that it? You done? All right. Develop a sequel. This is for E3. We're, I think we're going to go with the medium booth now. We got a lot of money. Sentinel. Sentinel 2. So this is going to be mature, right? On the PC, Sentinel 2. Sentinel 2. Let's see. This is about this is that uh, hacking game, hacking strategy game where it's hackers versus basically the government, right? We're gonna call this one uh, Sentinel 2. Um. Hmm. What could we call this one? Hmm, this could be interesting. What what could we call this one? What kind of expansion will this be, basically? Why don't we call this um, clients versus server? Client, oh, we can't do it. Client, let's see, Sentinel 2. S, Sentinel 2. Yeah, we can't do it any shorter than that. Client versus server. Nice. So... Can we do that? No. It's a medium game. We're going to publish our own medium game hacking strategy on the PC, on the Monolith Engine 2. And this should do pretty good for us, but really that Monolith Engine 2 is getting pretty old. We're going to have to probably do a new engine after this, and, and we'll skip a game between E3 and uh, the next E3. That's what we're going to do. So let's start this sucker on the old graphics. We're going to have new graphics pretty soon. Uh, transfer, uh, our agents have recently managed to borrow some, yeah, we, I always do this, I don't care if I get evil points, I really don't get, give a crap. Transport, nice. So, game spheres here. So, doing pretty good. Wow, we're at it, we're at 92,000, this is it. We don't need publishers anymore, that's awesome. So, strategy game. Let's look at strategy games. I think this is wrong, strategy always screws me up. I think graphics need to be higher. It says you can do whatever you want. So for strategy, it needs to look something like this. Stories and quests can be whatever you want. So why don't we get it up to, like, like that. Why don't we do that? So we're going to put... Yeah, he's good. He's a good design guy. And I'm a gameplay, I thought. So let's do this. Um, game, game dev tycoon gameplay. I wonder if... Uh, Hmm. Technical. When working on gameplay, your points have an 80% chance to, to be design. Okay, so gameplay is mainly design. I just googled that. So we'll put Nether. We'll put me on that. I have a really high design score. Arthur B. Engine's got to be tech. His tech score is all right. Why don't we burn Wesley on a couple of things here? We'll save these guys in reserve. There we go. Let's do it, guys. Fat bubbles here. Fat bubbles. We want a medium booth for our giant game. First time we're getting a medium booth, that should be a lot of huge hype. And we're going to get mega cash off this because we're publishing our own game uh, and we have 97,000 fans. So, okay, strategy, second phase is kind of more like this. We can do that. We'll save Arthur B for last. Chris Maley on level design. I think level design is mainly tech. Let's do... An, let's see, Game Dev Tycoon, Game Dev Tycoon, level design. You kind of need to know these things, because it's hard to know who to put on what, if you don't know what it is, right? Uh, let's see, level design. 
design, level design. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. We're almost there. Level design. What's 40%? Percent design point. What? Wow, worst page on the wiki. What? <laughs> uh, sound, what? Level design, not design focus. So it's technology and design. It's kind of both. Chris Maley, he's fairly balanced. We'll leave him there. Okay, that works. That works. Okay. So this is good. We can still probably get the special um, management bonus. We really need that because we're doing a uh, we're doing a sequel. That means we haven't we've done this topic and combo before and all that. We really need that design bonus. Looking good. Really high numbers. We still have one phase left here. So we're gonna put this guy on graphics. I'm, I'm sure your graphics are all tech. Let's look. They might be design game dev tycoon graphics. Usually these are pretty obvious, but. Graphics, how to unlock, no, I don't care how, uh, view graphics hidden stat, tech level, which is to calculate tech. Uh, nope. Hmm, graphics, um, uh, is there no 3D, ultimate guy, no, it doesn't say. 2D graphics, hmm, we're almost out of time here. Uh, let's see, let me just look. Oh, custom game engine, yeah, no, we don't care about that. All right, well, I don't know. So I'm going to leave it at, I'm going to put this guy in the middle, like that. Chris Maley, world design, yeah. We might want to switch these, actually. Might want to do that. Arthur B., he's doing two things. I don't want him to do that. Well, let's put Chris Maley in here as long as, yeah, that's good. That looks good to me. And let's make sure that strategy, oops, I clicked the wrong damn thing again. Strategy on the, on the end, nope, see I would have messed that up. It's world design, sound has to be high, and graphics can be whatever you want. So we'll do it like that probably, which means I'm going to put him on world design. He has a really bad design score. He has our worst design score. And we'll put uh, Wesley Black on that. Rich backstory. There we go. Let's do it like that. That should be pretty good. So a small... Here's a medium booth. We should get a lot more fans. Last time it was like a hundred and something thousand. So I, yeah, I expect this to be up in the two or three hundreds. So client versus server. Sentinel 2. And I'm also doing Speed 2 around the world. They both get hyped because I have two games out right now. Awesome. So that's a lot better. Did not make it in the top 100? That's fine. So 64 hype. That's awesome. And it's still going up from E3. Hype from E3. More than 100,000 fans! It's because we're beast. This game should do really well. We should really blow up in cash after this because we're self-publishing our own medium game. And there we go. Wow, that's nice. Nintendo's working on a new game console. We really need to get out of this office. Year 15 is pretty deep. We need a new engine, then we're probably going to blow up. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we already said we're doing a new engine, right? We'll do some research, and then we'll do a new engine. And hurry up. Hype is pretty high still. Nice. That's pretty good Pretty good for us. Not a lot of cash, but you got to be able to self-publish before you make the cash. Release. This is pretty much going to do it for this episode, episode 6. Double new record. Good management. That's awesome. Can we get a level? No, we did not get Wesley Black to level. He'll level on the next game we make, I guess. Double new record. This should be really big for us. And, yeah, that's fine. He earns a raise. New research available. Let's just do some research real quick. Let's get nether training. Um, see, boost max level 3 requires 700s, and it costs 2 million. So let's do... Well, why don't we wait? Let's wait for me. I'm not... So I think I'm going to cut it right here, and we will come back to this next time on Episode 7, guys. I just want to leave it on a cliffhanger. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. Uh, see you guys. As always, stay frosty.